Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date with all our latest content. Today, we're talking about why Pop! OS is my daily driver. I know there are a ton of Linux distros out there, but Pop! OS has been my go-to for a while now, and honestly, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Oh, and stick around because we'll also be talking about the exciting upcoming release of Pop! OS 24.04 with the brand new Cosmic Desktop environment, written entirely in Rust. Let's kick things off with the user experience. Pop! OS, created by System76, is built on Ubuntu, but it offers something extra. The current Cosmic Desktop environment is sleek, modern, and incredibly user-friendly. The layout is intuitive, so whether you're new to Linux or a seasoned pro, you'll find it easy to get things done. Everything from the system settings to the workspace management just flows. I can jump between tasks, organize my windows, and stay focused on what I'm doing, all without getting bogged down by unnecessary distractions. Now, I've got to highlight one of my favorite features, tiling windows. If you're into multitasking, this is a game changer. With just a few keyboard shortcuts, you can snap your windows into place, making the most of your screen real estate. Whether I'm coding, researching, or just have a bunch of browser tabs open, the tiling system keeps everything organized. And once you get used to it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. One thing that really sets Pop! OS apart is its optimization for System76 hardware. If you're using a System76 laptop or desktop, like the Lemur Pro or Thelio, you're getting a tailor-made experience. Pop! OS is designed to make the most of that hardware, from power management to performance tweaks. But don't worry, if you're on non-System76 hardware, Pop! OS still runs like a dream. It's versatile, robust, and capable of handling just about anything you throw at it. Let's talk about the Pop Shop. This software center is one of the best out there. It's fast, it's clean, and it's packed with all the software you need, from productivity tools to gaming essentials. And the best part? It's regularly updated, so you're always running the latest versions. You don't have to worry about finding or installing software from external sources. The Pop Shop has you covered. Security is another area where Pop OS really shines. In today's digital age, Privacy is more important than ever, and Pop! OS takes it seriously. Right from installation, you can set up full disk encryption, and the system itself is designed with security in mind. Plus, with System76's commitment to open-source software, you have complete transparency, no hidden surprises, just solid, reliable protection for your data. Now, let's get into some exciting news. Pop! OS 24 .04. System76 is taking things to a whole new level, with this upcoming release, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. The new Cosmic Desktop environment is being completely rewritten in Rust, which is known for its safety and performance. This means the new Cosmic is going to be faster, more responsive, and even more stable than before. System76 is really doubling down on giving us a desktop environment that not only looks good, but performs exceptionally well too. I've had the chance to take a sneak peek at the alpha version. And let me tell you, the new Cosmic is a game changer. The layout is similar to what we're used to, but with some significant improvements in customization and performance. The animations are smoother, the settings are more accessible, and the overall feel is just better. If you've been a fan of Pop! OS so far, 24.04 is going to blow you away. And if you're thinking about making the switch, this might just be the perfect time. So that's why Pop! OS is my daily driver and why I'm so excited for the upcoming 24.04 release. Pop! OS continues to push the boundaries of what a Linux distro can be, and I can't wait to see where it goes next. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below with your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.